testimony for just about a minute. Yes. And just thank the Lord. Thank for what he has done for you. Yes. yes. Just, just thank him. Thank you. For this person. Just thank him. Yes. Thank him for what he has done for you. Oh, my God. Thank you, God. And what he's continued to do. Yes. Give him praise. Yes, Lord. Let us sort him. Yes. Let's lift him up. Jesus. Let's thank him. Yes. Oh, God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Oh, Father, I give you praise. And I thank you, Lord, God. You I thank you, Lord, God. I thank you, Father, God. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord, God. You know, a lot of people don't appreciate what God is doing for them. They really don't appreciate what God is doing for them. But God is working on your behalf constantly. Every minute, every second. Every hour, he's working on your behalf. Yes, yes, mm. yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. God. Thank, Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. My God, my God. Thank you. Hallelujah. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. It's good to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. And it's always good to be up before you so I can help and, and help you in the area of whatever you may need. Because mm. God has given me something to tell you about. Yes. And we can all use some from each other. Yes. Amen. Yes. Amen. Because we are shopping in each other. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. That's the kind of God we serve. Yes. We are here to help each other. Amen. Amen. Because Amen. Amen. I have to shop in that. Yes. You can't do everything by yourself. No. You need help. Right. Everyone needs help. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. We all need help. Yes. And but we have a father yes. who in heaven mm -hmm. that he just sent it down blessings. Yes. He just pouring it down. The only thing we have to do is reach and grab it. Amen. Yes. Amen. Grab it. Amen. Grab your blessing. Yes. Don't let your blessing slip away. Grab your blessing. Grab it. Hold on to it. Yes. Hold on to it. Yeah. Hold on to it. Amen. Yes. Amen. Amen. Well, good morning, Facebook. I, I tell you, it's good to be in the house of the Lord. I'm going to get right into prayer. But I just want to thank you for tuning in yes. to our 11 o'clock service. Yes. Yes. And I, I thank you in the name of Jesus because God is who he said he is. Yes. Yes. There's no lie. He is who he said he is. That's right. That's right. He's the one that wake you up in the morning. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. You didn't wake up. Right. That alarm clock didn't wake you up this morning. Mm -hmm. Or whatever method you used to wake yourself up. Yeah. It was God that yeah. woke you up. God said, I'm going to give you another day. Mm -hmm. And he said that he could say that, what? A hundred years. I'm going to give you another day. Uh -huh. yeah. I'm going to give you another day. Another day. Another day. Come on. That's the kind of God we serve. Amen. Amen. My God. So I pray that you receive something from this message because I got a powerful message for you. And it might hurt a little bit, but it's going to help you too. Amen. 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 <coughs> so, Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, God, in the name of Jesus. We thank you for your love. We thank you for your unconditional love. We thank you for favor, Father. We thank you for what are all the things that you're doing in our life. Father, we just give you praise. We walk by faith and not by sight, Lord God, because we are trusting you yes. all the time. Yes. And we just thank you in the name of Jesus. Amen. You may be seated. You may be seated. I tell you, my God, your God is a good God. Yes, he is. He's a God that listens. And he listens to everything you pray about. Yes. That's the kind of God we serve. You know, you know, you ain't got to say, Father, are you listening? He's listening. He's always listening. Amen? Amen. But my message today is, why confess with your mouth, but lie with your heart? Why confess with your mouth? Oh, you always confessing that, hey, I love the Lord, I'll do anything for God, but you lying with your heart. My God, my God. You're lying with your heart. You know, back in the day, we see God, you could talk, we say, man, stop lying. You know, you can tell, you can tell when a person is lying. But you sometimes, you don't want to say anything. Amen? So when you confess with your heart, 
That's what you're supposed to be doing, confessing with your heart. But it say confess with your mouth and believe in your heart. Mm -hmm. But I say, why confess with your mouth but lie with your heart? Mm -hmm. Amen? Because Matthew 12 and 34 teach us that but out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. That's right. Yeah, that's right. That's the word. <laughs> but it's from the heart mm -hmm. that the mouth speaks from. Mm -hmm. Amen? So when you say you're going to go to church, you go going to church and you don't go, you're lying. Yeah, <laughs> when you say you're going to be in church but you don't show up, you're lying. Because it's, it's in your heart. See, your heart told you already you wasn't going to go. Come on now. <laughs> it told you already you wasn't going to go. Well, I ain't going to church. I'm not going. Your heart done told you already. Yes. <laughs> That's how you do. You know, and, and, and we know people love to lie. Even believers, I'm telling you. I hate to say it, but you know church people right. lie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. They tell a lot of lies. Yes. They do. Lie across the Sunday. Yes. <laughs> but why confess with your mind and lie with your heart? Come on, right. Come on, preacher. Why? Stop lying. Stop lying. Stop. We lying all the time. Mm -hmm. My wife said you be lying because it was Thursday. Lying because of Sunday. Oh, Sunday. Sunday. <laughs> I know you be saying. <laughs> 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 but why lie? Amen. Amen. That's right. But with the heart, you should believe, and with the mouth, you should have made a confession already. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. With the heart, you should already believe. Yes. Yeah. See, once you make the mouth confess to it, the heart should already believe to it. Yes. Yeah. But a lot of people do not want to say that they are a Christian or they love God. And they do say they might be lying with their heart. They might be lying with their heart. I'm not saying they are, but they might be. Because your actions show what you really are. That's right. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Your action. Yes, sir. You can tell me a lot of things, but I'm going to watch you and watch your action. Amen. Because I know when you're lying with your heart, because you're not telling me the whole truth. That's right. That's right. That's right. And, and and people lie. They lie because they, they lie because it just feels so good for them to tell mm -hmm. tell a lie. But that's part of the world system. Yeah. Amen. That is part of the world system that people lie. But we are believers of God. Yes. We are we supposed to trust God in, in everything. Mm -hmm. We're not supposed to be lying to God because God knows when you're lying. He sure do. I already yeah. know. Oh, yes. Don't lie to God. I'm going to tell you something. When you lie to a believer, you lying to God. That's right. Uh -huh. You're going to tell it. you lying, lying to God. Every time you lie to a believer, you lying to God. Yes. Right. And God holds you accountable for that lie. You can't just be lying because you, you want to lie. Hmm. Amen. Amen. So I tell you, I'm, I'm going to touch something, but I, 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 it's going to help you. I'm telling you, it's going to help you. Because you still haven't co fully committed to your ways. Yes. The way of the Lord. Why you haven't fully committed to the way of the Lord? You accept Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. But you haven't been really fully committed. Hmm. So what's the problem? What's the problem? See, you're not justified by what you say. But what you, what you, how your faith is in with God? How your faith is in with God? How you walking in faith? That's how you justify. How you walking with your faith? Do you believe in your faith? Do you trust your faith? Come on now. That's how you gonna be justified. Yeah. Mm -hmm. How you living? Some people say they live in fire, or they Christian, but they live in fire. Oh. Mm. Come on now. They live in fire. Every time they walk to the line, foul. <laughs> <laughs> you call a foul on him before he gets to the line. Uh, he ain't got to shoot no free throws. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <that's right>. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't got to shoot no free throws. Because mm -hmm. every time he walk up there, he lying. Mm -hmm. We should not be lying in the house of God. That's right. Amen? Amen. And, and believers, you can't be lying because you just 
feel like lying. Mm. Mm. You can't. God hears that. Yes, he does. You know God hears everything we say. That's right. He know what everything we do. That's, right. That's, right. That's the kind of God we serve. He, he know everything. Yes. Right. He know when you you're truthful, and he know when you're not truthful. Right. But it's our, it's our faith that makes us right with God. Mm -hmm. See, if we want to be right with God, it's by faith. Mm -hmm. And your faith got to always tell the truth. Mm -hmm. yes. Your faith tells the truth. Your mm -hmm. faith must tell the truth. Amen? Amen. And, and, and we talk about this all the time. Let's go to Romans 10 and 8. I want to get to a scripture real quick. And, and let's go to Romans 10 and 8. Because salvation is made for everyone. Yes. God wants everyone to be saved. Mm -hmm. right. But he knows that everybody ain't going to be saved. But he wants everybody to be saved. He wants everybody to be saved. Amen. Amen. Let me get there. Can you just say amen? Amen. But what it says, it says, the word is nigh thee. What does the word mean, nigh thee? It's near you. you. The word is near you. The word is always going to be near you. Mm -hmm. You heard the word before. Mm -hmm. Somebody else said, told you about God. Yes. You heard God. Yes. So the word is going to always be near you. Yes. It's near you now. Yes. Amen. It's near you. So the word is in, in nigh thee, even in the mouth. In thy mouth mm -hmm. and in thy heart. Yeah. That is the word of what? Faith. faith. Yeah. Which we preach. And we preach faith all the time. Yes. 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 That if thou shalt confess with thy mouth yes. the Lord Jesus and shalt believe in thy heart uh -huh. that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. Yes. And it say thou will be saved. It say thou shalt yes. be yes. saved. Yes. So you must finish the process. Yes. You must yes. complete the process. Yes. You must continue to go to church, to be around fellow Christian, and to act like you're a Christian and stop lying about it. Yes, yes. Stop yes. lying. Amen. Amen. You must go to church. Mm -hmm. You must be around Christians. Uh -huh. Amen. Yes. And since this pandemic took place, people don't like going to church. Mm -hmm. yep. But so they have a what? They have an excuse. Uh -huh. And excuse is a poor thing to a faith. Yes, yes. My, my, my. Because as long as you have an excuse, you're going to fail. Yeah, because right. you got too many excuses. Excuses and excuses. You know, excuses is not good for you. That's right. It's not good for the believer. Uh -huh. If you believe it, you shouldn't have, a, have no excuses. Come on, preacher. Not that kind of excuse. Yeah. That's right. Come on. Amen. Amen. It says, Thou shall be saved. Yeah. But look what 10 says. But with the heart, man believes. And they said with the mouth. They said with the what? Heart. The heart. The heart. The mouth can say anything. That's oh, you can say anything with that mouth. That's right. Come on now. And that tongue, that you know how that tongue is. You know that tongue can say some bad things. You know that, right? Yeah. They can say some real crazy things. I mean, you know. But that's why from out of the heart, the mouth speaking. Yes. So it's already was in your heart. That's why you're speaking it. Yeah, yeah. That's why you're saying it. Right. Because it was already in your heart. Yeah. See, you got to clean your heart out first yeah. before you get to the mouth. That's right. That's you got to say that now. Yes, you yes. got to clean your you got to clean your heart up. Some of your people some heart are really filthy. Mm -hmm. And I can use the word filthy, nasty. Yeah, that's the truth. Dirty. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because all that stuff is coming out your mouth. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the attitude. Yeah. And, and you can't be like that. You can't. Amen. Amen. We can't. That's, right. That's why I, I, I say, Lord, I got to talk about the heart. Yes. 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 Because the heart is what tells a lot about a person's character. Mm -hmm. Yes, it does. Because you show me a lot about yourself with your heart. Yes. Mm -hmm. I mean, you could tell me anything with your mouth, and you could be lying from your from your heart. <laughs> Come on, man. Yes, you can. Yeah. And you know, the mouth can say anything. Because the heart, the heart is not 
able to speak out loud, right? But so the mouth will speak for the heart, right? So what's in your heart, the mouth is speaking for you. It's speaking for you. Yes. It's telling me everything you want me to know. Come on, preacher. That's right. It's telling me everything you want you want me to know. Yes, sir. You know how bad you is. Come on, Diane. <laughs> yep, yep. <laughs> I bet you. That's real. See, once you confess, once a person confess, now they should open their faith door. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Get rid of that negativity, all that stuff. You said I was a bad boy back in the day. So what? That's back in the day. Yes, right. That's right. <laughs> this is a new day. Yes, right. You accept Jesus Christ, your Lord and Savior. Don't tell me what you did in the past. Tell me what you're going to do for Jesus. Yes, right. Come, right. Come on now. Come on now. Right. Tell me what you're going to do for the Lord now. Right. Yes. Don't right. tell me about your past. That's right. That's Go ahead and erase that. That's, That's right. right. Come on now. Yes. Erase that. That's right. That's right. No, you was a bad boy. So what you doing now? That's Come right. On now. Okay? Jesus. Jesus. Come on. Yeah. What you doing for God? Come on now. Are you lying? <laughs> oh, you probably lying back then. You lying now? Come on now. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Jesus. Hey, man, you gotta see you I'm gonna tell it like a TI is. Come on now. I'm gonna tell the truth. Stop it. Amen. 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 Now that you confess, you must live as a believer. Yes, right. Yes. You must walk as a believer. Yes. You must talk as a believer. Yes. All that negativity thing that you did back to me, let it go. Let that's it right. go. That's right. Talk like a believer. Yes. Do a believer talk like that? Come on. Come on. Do God talk like that? Come no. on. No. Talk like a believer. Yes. Amen. 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 So I ask you a question. Do you feel God? Mm -hmm. Because you didn't feel him back then because you were doing whatever you wanted to do. But now you were saying, do you feel God? My if you feel God, God, why are you talking like that? My Lord, my Lord. You better say it now. Mm -mm -mm. Why are you talking like that? My God. And God have not erased that from your heart? Come on, now. Yes. You better say it now. Yes, yes. That's good. That's good. Mm -mm. He have not erased that from your heart. Why? Because it's still there. Yeah, it's still there. Mm -hmm. yeah. Because what's in the heart, the mouth gonna speak it. Yes, That's right. Yes, yes. So you ain't saved. That's why I say you. It said you shall be saved. Shall be. Yeah. That's why I say you shall be saved. Yeah. You are not really saved yet. Yeah. There's some yeah. things you have to fix. Mm -hmm. There's some things you have to go through. Mm -hmm. There are things you have to do. Mm -hmm. Yes. Before you say you're saved. My God. Yeah. Amen. My because God. I'm gonna get back to that because we go. We know we call that. We call them. Hypocrites, and I'm gonna get to that. Mm, mm. My, my, my. Don't be a hypocrite in, in, in the church house. That's right. My God. <laughs> That's what they They hypocrites. My God. They be in the church all day. Man. <laughs> my God. My God. Don't be a hypocrite. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be questioning that what God is doing in your mm -hmm. life. Accept it. Mm -hmm. Don't be a doubt what God is doing in your life. But right. accept it. Right. He, he has changed you from your bad boy to a good boy. Yeah, mm -hmm. bad boys. He ain't no bad boy, bad boy. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when the God comes for you? What you gonna do? Uh huh. Huh? What you gonna do? Yes. <laughs> you know. To confess me to what? Agree. So since I confess that God, I'm agreeing with everything God is saying. Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm agree. Oh. I'm agreeing. Yes. Because when I confess that that Jesus is my Lord, and I believe that Jesus died on the cross, and, and God raised from the dead, I'm agreeing with what he's saying. Mm -hmm. I'm agreeing that God did raise Jesus from the dead. Uh -huh. I'm agreeing. Not only confess, but I'm agreeing. Amen. We have to come. We have to confess, but we have to agree. Mm -hmm. We have to agree. Yes, Amen. Amen. We must agree. Because listen to this. So when the scripture tells us to confess that Jesus is Lord, He's telling us to agree that God, mm -hmm. that God did raise Jesus from the dead. Yes. And He did. He did raise Jesus from the dead. Mm -hmm. And the same thing can happen for you and me. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing. We won't be dead. Our spirit will be with God. We won't be dead. So let's stop pretending. You ever, saw that, that, you ever heard that group, the pretending? Yes, I am the pretender. I came to tell you a story. The pretenders. You know heard that group of pretenders? Great pretenders. Yeah, that's the group of pretenders. They pretend that they're 
that's saved. Yeah. You know, you got people pretending that they're saved, mm-hmm. but they ain't saved. Amen. They pretend that they believe us, but they ain't believe us. Yeah. You know, because they're hard. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And sometimes you have to sit back and just watch people ask you. Uh-huh. Watch what comes out of their mouth sometimes. Uh-huh. Man, you can tell a person about it. Yeah, you can tell about it, what comes out of their mouth. Because I'm mm-hmm. telling you something, this stuff comes out of people. I believe about me. Make you want to question it. Mm-hmm. That's right. Amen. That's why the Bible says, be slow to speak uh-huh. and quick to listen. Not yeah. just run your mouth. That's right. That's right. You because your that. mouth will get you in what? Trouble. Yes, it will. Mm-hmm. It gets you in trouble. Yes, because you know how to. <laughs> and then people say, oh, that's coming from your heart. Mm-hmm. That's what the Bible said. Mm-hmm. It's coming from your heart. Yeah. Oh, I didn't mean that. But it came from your mouth. Mm-hmm. So if it came from your mouth, it must you must come from your heart. Mm-hmm. It must come from your heart. Right? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you see, the, the Bible teaches that we must, what we must do. We must trust God with our what? Our heart. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Right? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, our heart. Yes, yes. Not just one corner of it. <laughs> Amen. Right. We yeah. must trust it with all our heart. So let's go to Rome. We know this. Let's go to um, Proverbs 3 and 5. We should know that scripture. Oh, yeah. Trust in the Lord. Yes, sir. With all your heart. Oh, he said all, right? Oh. He said part, right? With all. No, sir. Trust in the Lord. With all your heart. Amen. And people get that confused. You know, they get that they get that confused. Mm-hmm. Because they think and they talk about what well, just part of my heart. So you know, part of my heart I got that they got that lot corner. You know, that corner that over there, that's the lying corner. Mm-hmm. <laughs> then they got that deceitful corner. You better say it now. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> then they got that evil corner mm. in their heart. Oh yeah. So all that stuff be coming out, but something that stuff come out at one time. <laughs> one time, that's right. <laughs> it, be, it just come out. Come on, preacher. Mm-hmm. Yes, sir. <laughs> that stuff just come out. Amen. Amen. But the Bible tells us we must trust God with all our heart. Uh-huh. Yes. Right. right. And they say, trust God, trust the Lord with all your heart, and lean not unto your own uh, understanding. That's right. right. That's the word. Right. Not your understanding. Come on. But to trust him. Yes. yes. It's, it's all that way acknowledge him and he what shall direct that path. Yes. So what path you taking, and you're taking the wrong path, God didn't direct that path. That's right. That's right. You choose that path. Uh-huh. In life, you choose that path. So why would you blame God for your what's happening to you? Come on now, preacher. Why would you blame God? Yes. You choose to go down that path. God didn't tell you to go down that path. God didn't even tell you to go down that road. That's right. That's right. That's right. God didn't tell you to go down the road. So why are you blaming God? Why are you blaming God? That's right. You know, people could be so confusing sometimes. You know, they could be so confusing sometimes. Because they, they you know, a lot of people do. And, and, and we'll blame God. Mm-hmm. That's right. That's right. And we'll blame God. That's real. Come on now. Mm-hmm. But he said, he, and he should direct that path. Mm-hmm. God will direct your path. Yes, he will. Yes, he will. My God. But if we don't trust him, how, how can we serve him mm-hmm. if we don't trust him? Mm-hmm. If we don't trust God, how can we serve God? That's right. If we don't believe in God, uh-huh. how can we serve God? Uh-huh. So you're not serving God because you really don't believe because you're still doing the same old thing. Mm-hmm. Same thing. Same thing. So how can you serve God? You're not serving God. No conviction. You're not serving God. Mm-hmm. You know, and, 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 and I tell you, we call those people self. Mm. But what we need is more faith warriors. Yeah. Okay? Because when people confess with their mouth, they do supposed to believe with their heart. Mm-hmm. If you confess with your mouth, believe with your heart. Mm-hmm. Or you're not living by faith. Mm-hmm. 
If you don't believe with your heart, you're not living by faith. You're living by what you see uh -huh. and what you hear. Mm -hmm. Come on now. That's what you, that's what you believe. Amen? Amen. And some would call that a what? A hypocrite. Mm -hmm. A hypocrite. My God. You have not really converted mm -hmm. to God's standards. My Lord. You're a hypocrite. They hypocrites in the church. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. Because the, the hypocrite, the hypocrite, the word comes from it's a Greek word that comes from it comes from a Greek word they call uh actor. Mm -hmm. So what you're doing, you're an actor. You're acting. <laughs> and you come to church to act. So you sit up for oh Jesus, 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 Jesus. They act. Don't even mean it. No, they don't mean. And you see them the next day, they all showtime. Probably in the in, 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 in the liquor store. <laughs> probably in the liquor store. And Oscar goes. <laughs> you know, they call them play actors yeah. because they're playing. My God, that's what they do. And I'm going to say, what the Greek word for that is play actor, mm -hmm. a hypocrite. My God. And you know what Jesus called the Pharisees? They are play actors. <laughs> Jesus said, don't be like them. Don't be like them. That's right. right. You know what I'm saying? And these Pharisees are supposed to be people who post with no God. In the church. They were in the church. Right. But they were, they, they were acting. Mm -hmm. So they call them play actors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, you're, you're, you're acting with God. Uh -huh. And you are also coming to enter God's house to act. And, 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 and you think that people don't see that. You think people don't notice that. You think because you didn't think you all spiritual. But people can see through things. Right. They just don't say much. Just don't say much. That's right. Because God ain't told them to see it. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Come on now, preacher. Mm -hmm. But they don't think don't think they haven't pulled your car. My God, my God. Mm -hmm. Don't think they haven't pulled your car because your car been pulled. They just ain't show you your hand yet. My God, my yes, God. Yes, yes. My Lord, my Lord. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. Ooh, yeah, and, and, and sometimes, sometimes, some people, people in the church will, God put, they'll show you your hand. Yes, they will. They'll, right. they'll tell you. They'll tell you. Hey, you, hey, man, you need to get it right. Yes, right. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Yeah. You're, you're a person who pretended to be a believer. My God, my God. Mm -hmm. Yes. yes. That's what it is. But a hypocrite cannot hide in the church forever. That's right. That's right. You can't hide in the church forever. A hypocrite cannot hide in God's house forever without God not revealing to some right. believers in the church. That's right. That's right. Because I'm telling you something. They might not say much, but they might not say anything, but God has revealed it to them uh -huh. about your action, My about your character. God. God has already revealed it to them. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Amen. Amen. So, don't think you're in the church. You hide. You hide. Come on, man. <laughs> you're not hiding in the church. Jesus. <laughs> so the Bible said, say, beware of the Pharisees, Ooh, the actors. Mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> the hypocrites. Yeah. Beware of them. That's the word. Yes, yes beware of them. Hollywood. <laughs> <laughs> they really don't want to pick up their cross and follow Jesus. My God, my God. No, they really, they still going out there doing the same old thing. They don't want to pick up their cross and follow Jesus. Mm -hmm. you know? Amen. God. So let's go to Luke um, 12 and 1. Go to Luke 12 and 1. Luke 12 and 1. My God. Amen. See, you know, the Bible said they're like a leavened bread that is not fully done yet. They're not cooked yet. See, that's how the Pharisees is. The Pharisees, they weren't cooked yet. See, it's still in the oven. Still in the oven. And it ain't cooked yet. You can see some of the brown on them. <laughs> That's all you see. But inside, they're not cooked. Not cooked. Mm -hmm. My God, my God. You better say that, preacher. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. Right. That's good. <laughs> but 
don't even talk about it. See, I ain't gonna read all. He said in the meantime, when they were gathered together in the church, when they were gathered together, so much that upon another began to say, and then Jesus said to his disciples first. He said, first of all, be well the eleven of the Pharisees. Mm -hmm. What does that mean? It means that raise, raise. Mm -hmm. It's like bread that raises. When it raises, right. it started to get another color. Mm -hmm. It started to become done. Mm -hmm. But they haven't, they haven't raised it. The Pharisees are still uncooked. Oh my God, my God. Mm -hmm. They're still uncooked. Uncooked Christians. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they still uncooked. Mm. They still need to be some work done to them. Yeah. They need to be put back in the oven. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> they need to be put back in the oven. <laughs> you know? He yeah. said, be, Beware of the, the leaven of the Pharisee, which is a yes. hypocrite. Yes. They ain't hypocrites. Because they ain't cooked yet. They ain't done. They're hypocrites. But there's nothing covered that shall not be revealed. Amen. Neither hid Amen. Amen. that shall not be known. Amen. Therefore, whatsoever ye have spoken in darkness shall be heard in the light. In the light. And that which is have been spoken in the, in the ear, in the closet, shall be proclaimed upon the house. My God, my God. So, <laughs> oh, speak Holy Ghost. Just because we don't say nothing. God will reveal things to the believer. That's right. God will reveal it to the believer. That's right. He revealed things to the believer. Yes, sir. Mm. Amen. And the believer with a clean heart. Yes. Okay? Because he know every Christian come to mm. come to church is not clean. That's right. That's right. Some of them dirty. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Some dirty. Mm -hmm. Some of them haven't taken a bath yet. Mm -hmm. My God, my God. Amen. They haven't taken a bath yet. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to make sure the question. Say neighbor. Neighbor. Do you need to get back in the oven? You might get burned up. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Trying to say is don't be like an eleven Pharisee. Don't be like an uncooked Christian. Don't be like an uncooked Christian. Why? The Bible said, "Beware them. Beware them. Amen. Their ways are not steady." Right, right. Beware them. Amen. Mm -hmm. Don't confess anything with your mouth if you don't believe it with your heart. That's right. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. If you don't believe it with your mouth, don't confess it with your heart. Right. Amen? Amen. Because out of the abundance of the heart, mm -hmm. the mouth is speaking. Yes. Right? Amen. Yeah. So don't let your heart be untrustworthy. We can't trust a lot of people. A lot of people can't be trusted. That's right. A lot of people can't be trusted. You may confess a lot of things with your mouth mm -hmm. that you did not believe with your heart. But you confessed it. You said it. But you didn't believe it with your heart. That's right. So don't lie with your heart. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> don't lie with your heart. Don't lie with your heart. My God. My God. But you know what? The only worst thing to a hypocrite, or let me see, a liar, is a hypocrite. Uh -huh. Why? One thing about, see, Christians, Christians were sinners. Mm -hmm. it's Christ, we were sinners. But one thing I say about Christians is that all, all, all Christians are not hypocrites. That's, That's right. right. You got some in the church now. Mm -hmm. But all Christians are not hypocrites. Right. But all were sinners. You know the word. We all were sinners, right? Uh -huh. But all Christians are not hypocrites. Right. You got some. You got some that's still in the church. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. Listen to this quote: a a, a hypocrite can paint a can, can be a picture of a saint that don't know how to take down the picture. Mm -hmm. 
My God, you gotta say that again. Mm. <laughs> a, a hypocrite could be a hypocrite can be a, a, a picture of a saint that don't know how to take down the picture. They don't know how to take it down. Mm. They don't know how to take it down. Mm. Listen to this quote. Mm. If Satan can even and can ever laugh, if Satan can ever laugh, it must be at a hypocrite because maybe they don't know that they are still serving him. They still serve it. A hypocrite is still serving Satan. Mm -hmm. So Jesus, that's what Jesus said, don't be like them. Mm -hmm. Why do you think Jesus tell us don't be like the hypocrites? Mm -hmm. They have dead not cooked yet. Not cooked. Mm -hmm. The action shows a lot about their character. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So we have to watch those hypocrites even in the church house. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yes, and God will, re will reveal, he, you know, told me, he said, he will reveal it to the believers. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But he don't tell you to say something at them time. Right. God will tell you when to say something. Yes, right. Right. Yes. <laughs> but the hypocrites think you don't know nothing about them. Oh. Mm -hmm. They think you don't know anything about their life. Mm -hmm. They think you don't, you don't know anything what's going on. Uh -huh. But God reveals things to us. Yeah. Just that's what they're doing. They're thinking. Amen? Amen. That's why we have to not confess things with our mouth. Right. Oh, no, don't confess with your mouth and then lie with your heart. That's right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Don't do that. Don't do it. Don't do it. That's right. Don't do it. Amen? Amen. My God, my God. So you go ahead and stand. If you got you receive something from this, say amen. Amen. Say amen. amen. My God. Mm -mm -mm. So Facebook, I, I pray that you receive some from this. God love you. He would never leave you. He would never, he would never abandon you. Nor forsake you. That's the kind of God we serve. Yeah. His arm is still wide open. Yes. And he's waiting for you to return. Yes. Hallelujah. No matter how much you unworthy, he was unworthy. Mm -hmm. Or by sin, God still loves you. Yes. He still loves you. <clears throat> Amen. Amen. God still loves you. Mm -hmm. The only thing he wants to do is repent. Yes, yes. To Jesus Christ. Just know one thing. That you are not alone. Yes. God cares for you. Amen. God bless you. I hope you receive something in Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. Amen.